I'm still uh, still high from last night's Scorpion show. I'm yeah, excited so about good. It. Right? I'm, it's so good. Chris, do you know last week your victory against the Scalar Brothers? Do you know that was victory number 100 for you? That you seems are like a lot. Officially, the third member of the 100 Win Club. Thank you very much. I feel good about it. I'm looking for 101 today. I don't uh, normally perform well in front of a big group like this, but I think uh, they're carrying me through today. I'm ready to go. I believe after today, Deanna will just be 99 wins behind you. You think she's oh, got yeah. it? Deanna, how you feeling? I'm feeling better than yesterday. I can tell you look confident today. You look calmer. You yeah. feel you're within yourself. Why, why are you feeling so calm today? Well, I, the expectations are off. I don't think anybody expects me to get anything. So right? uh, I'm for, okay with that. For people who weren't listening yesterday, tell us where you're from. Uh, Chatfield. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, how do we feel? Do, do, do we believe she's got a chance to win this thing today? Wait, where, yeah. the, hell, where the hell is Chatfield? Where is that by? Yeah, what's it by? It's by Rochester. Yeah. Oh, it's by Rochester. Yeah. Okay, shout by the out Dells. Rochester. Lieber spot. Yeah, oh, Lieber exactly spot. Right. Yeah. By the Dells, Chatfield. Okay, right on. Are you intimidated sitting this close to Dov Lambert? Should I be? No. 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 Maybe a little. No. Yeah, no, not at all. Okay, cool. We'll good, 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 good. I'm excited. Let's go. Sam, let's, let's go. go. You I should be ready. intimidated by adults wearing Daryl Strawberry jerseys. It's a tribute jersey, and it looks good, and it shows off his pecs. It does. You look good, Dov. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so terrible. check this out. Yesterday, Deanna beat the uh, the other four Rubes, right, in, uh, in the first ever all-Rube game of initials, game 5-11. Uh, the one that she uh, sniped at the end was Donnie. And Donnie wants to do the uh, the intro live. Should we let him do it live? Let's, let's hear it for Donnie. Let's let him yeah, do this. Yeah, Donnie. On. This is your big radio break. Let's go. Uh, all right. It's time for initials game number 512, live from Las Vegas, Buffalo yeah. Wild Wings on the power trip. I, I would have bet a million dollars. That was Zach. That's same. Well, exactly. well done. Well, exactly. well, well, well done. done. Holy that moly. Was great. He has the four, the same kind of like inflection and cadence. That that sounded like it, it could have been Zach's brother. I thought it was Zach. That's really good. All right, well, game well. five twelve. Is there any chance you're Zach's brother? I don't Kathy, think so. Kathy, is there any chance he's Zach's brother? Okay, cool. No. Maybe. All right, let's go around the room. Sauce, uh, this is game five twelve. What happens if you win live here in Las Vegas? Uh, I'm sponsored by my friends at 7th Avenue Pizza. All 7th Avenue Pizza is buy one, get one free at Colburn's, CashWise, and Marketplace locations. And if I win today, tweet me and tag 7th Avenue Pizza through the end of Sunday, and one lucky winner will win $100 to put towards to restock your freezer with 7th Avenue Pizza. You're such a pro. Yeah. Well done. So is your dad. Tough I, break with Jordan oh, Spieth, though. Uh, Chris That's Hockey, right. uh, you have 100 wins. What if it's 101? Oh, uh, man. Radco's been with me through it all, and Radco at Radco.com is going to give you 10% off your entire order in-store or online at Radco.com. When you use the promo code initials, discount doesn't apply to toppers. They got so much. Thank you, Radco. Let's do this. Zach Halverson's voice doppelganger just did the uh, initials intro, but Zach, what happens if you win this uh, game today? Well, Corey, I am sponsored by my friends at ABC, American Building Contractors, and if I win today, you can tweet at me, at Zach Halverson, and take at ABC will help through the end of Sunday, and one lucky winner will win a $100 Visa gift card. All right. Am I, uh, am I here to assume that uh, Dov and Deanna are both playing for Great Clips, Christopher? Uh, Deanna uh, only, because Great Clips said no thanks to Dov. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want to be associated with So uh, you had friend. a bad day. <laughs> But you're right. Deanna is sponsored today by Marnie's friends at Great Clips. If she wins today, you can tweet at Marnie, at Marnie Gellner, I should say, and tag at Great Clips uh, through the end of Sunday. And one lucky winner is going to get one year of free haircuts at Great Clips Salon. So there you go, Deanna. How do you feel about being sponsored by Great Clips? Well, thanks so much, Great Clips. I hey. just wish Marnie was here, too. Oh, yeah, that would too. be cool. We so, miss you, Marnie. I'm going to assume, I'm gonna no assume that it, it's probably fair to say that if you win, Marnie would let you pick the $1,000 donation, correct? I would assume she would. Yeah. Marnie's nice about that. What charity would you pick if you did win? Uh, probably St. Jude. Okay, yeah, good I, I love that. That's a great there you go. Very good well done. Boy, so far you are just hitting on all cylinders. You're way better at this than Dobb. Let's do this. Wait, all right, and absolutely nobody here is sponsoring David Lambert. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dov. Who's sponsoring you? Yeah, who do you want? The Juggalos? Ox Jugs. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. But they can't afford you. You know that. <laughs> hey, by the way, 1-800-320-5326. Get on your phones now. Get ready because Maxo's at the phones. And, Corey, we're ready for the big deal here. Yeah, it's almost time for the jackpot. But I have to waste 10 seconds of everybody's life mentioning initials game and initials Don't game care. .com. You can buy versions 4 and 5 of Don't the home care. version of this game at initialsgame.com. Uh, $63,000 on the line. It's time for the jackpot. 
Now it's time for the St. Paul Federal Credit Union Initials Jackpot. That's right, $63,000 on the line. You're looking to buy a new car? Save money in your current car loan? We'll do it with St. Paul Federal Credit Union, now offering car loan rates as low as 6.29%. Apply today at stpaulfcu.org slash KFAN. Federally insured by the NCUA, Corey. I love when we're at live events. Look at how many people are on the phone trying to call back to the Keep Twin Cities. They definitely can. They're eligible, right? It's the same process. You call the number, you try to get through. Uh, thanks to St. Paul Federal Credit Union, this goes up $500 every week. If the caller gets one letter in the right spot, they win 250 bucks. Thanks to St. Paul Federal Credit Union. If they get both letters in the right spot, like Carl did one day in Vegas, like three years ago, they win the progressive jackpot, which is up to $63,000. We're talking Hell yeah. life changing money at this point now on the Power Trip Morning Show. All right, our buddy Max back in St. Louis Park has a random caller pulled up. What is your name and where are you from? This is Tim from St. Cloud. Tim from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Hi, Tim. How are you? How's it going? I'm doing well. Pretty good. Pretty good, Tim. You have a shot at $63,000. Just tell me two letters. Just the right letters. And uh, St. Paul Federal Credit Union gives you sixty three k, and your life's going to be different. Go for it. T-M. T as in Tim. T-M. Correct. Uh, is uh, is M your last initial? Yes. All right. Okay. So you're, you're trying the Carl trick. Carl in uh, Las Vegas guessed CR. Those were his initials. Let's go. And that made him $31,500. Tim from St. Cloud is going with his own initials, which are TM. Come on, give it to him. Let's do this. And he's hoping lightning is striking twice by going with your own initials. Come on, Steve. Come on. If he has one right, he Come gets on. 250 and he's still alive for a shot at $63,000. Does Tim in St. Cloud, the home of the St. Cloud State Huskies, come on, have at least one right? I love all the people watching my face, trying to read my face. I'm a terrible poker player. Bob's looking at your eyes. Yeah, Bob's into it. Bob, you and I need to talk after the show, by the Shamon, way. Come your, on, come on. Your mic's on. My schedule is wide open. Yeah. on. Tim in St. Cloud. Come on, give it to him. No. Sorry, Tim. No, 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 no. All right. Nope. Those are not the initials for game 512. The initials for Deanna, Chris, Sauce, Dov, and Zach. Game 512 will be C. Uh-oh. E. Ew. Oh. <laughs> C. Boo. And then the letter E. Uh, everybody, please make sure don't yell out any answers, even on accident. I know if you know it, it's hard not to yell it out, but please do not yeah, because sauce will go into yeah. beast mode. And, uh, and this is also hard not to do. I get it, but uh, try not even to mouth it just in case somebody sees you say it. I know that sucks, but uh, just try to be quiet for 15 minutes and enjoy it. That's, uh, that's all we're asking. Yeah, Dov, try not to mouth it. Yeah. <laughs> and feel I'll free when, when Deanna yeah, rings in and gets it right, feel free to applaud as loudly as possible because we need to push her to a victory. What if Dov wins in? Yeah, what if I win? Feel free to boo after every Dov answer. Here we go. Number one of CE. Clue number one. Involves anticipation. Clue number two. This can be observed. Clue number three. Often features gatherings. Paul. Okay. Christmas Eve. That's right. Good one. Yeah, thank you. Christmas Eve. Sauce on the board. Uh-oh. Good job, Paul. Thank you, Daddy. It's never good. Uh, Sauce has a one with Christmas Eve. Here's right. number two of C-E. Clue number one. Features information. Clue number two. Includes... Developments. Clue number three. This involves news. Clue number four. This is connected to reporting and journalism. Deanna? Go for it. Consumer electronics? Good guess. Good right. guess. She's taking a shot. Uh, Deanna, out for the rest of number two. Clue number five. This features the present. Hog. Hog. Current events. That's right. Oh, good one, Hogs. That was <laughs> those good. are current yeah. events. No idea. And Come on. Hog ties up. up. 
Uh, Chris has one. Sauce has one. Dob has zero. <laughs> Here's number three of CE. Clue number one. The first word means the vanquisher or conqueror. What? Clue number two. One of the largest in the world. Clue number three. Dates back thousands of years. Clue number four. This is connected to a very famous body of water. Clue number five. This is a capital. Paul? Yep. I'm gonna pass. Four, three. Nah, never mind. Sauce out right. for the rest of number three. No, Here's stupid. the final clue. Stupid. Clue number six. With a metro area of over 22 million people, this Arab city is famous for its iconic ancient structures. Five. Hawk. Vienna. Hawk was slightly Sorry. first. Cairo, Egypt. Yeah. Oh, good one. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, he sniped uh, you by a split second, Deanna. You had it right behind him. You had it, I assume, too? Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I, I thought I was going to have an aneurysm. I couldn't think of the aneurysm. Cairo, Oof. Egypt. Oof. All right. And, uh, and Chris this takes the lead with his second Dob, point. Dob, it's okay, Dob. You were out there, buddy. You were frowny there. face. I know. I see the frowny face. It's okay. Hawk has two, Sauce has one, the Jekyll brothers Woo! have zero. Here's number four of CE. Clue number one. The second word starts with a letter featuring an accent mark. Clue number two. And the second word is from French, meaning flash of lightning. Let's all be mature. Clue number three. Most commonly long with rounded ends. Hmm. Clue number four. These are filled. Deanna. Go for it. Chocolate eclair. Yes! Yeah! Ah! Nice job. Well done. Well done. Nice job. Well done. Eclair. Well done. She Eve. can play. Well done. That was very good. I don't... She's I had no very idea. good at this game. All right, chocolate eclair. Yeah, that's Deanna good. on the board. Woo! Just a handful of points away from legendary status. She can do this. She would have the lead if she would have sniped Jen Cairo. Uh, Hawk has two. Deanna and Sauce each have one. Dov and Zach have zero. Oh, Bob. Zacho, Zacho. Here's number five of CE. Clue number one. The first word is often shortened to just a five-letter nickname. Clue number two. It's debuted in 2004. Clue number three. The second word occurs twice a year. Clue number four. Millions of these have been sold. Hawk. Hawk. Chevrolet Equinox. That's right. What? That is correct. A Chevy Ooh. or Chevrolet Equinox. Oh, what? Good one. Holy cow. It's a Chevy Equinox. Ooh, boy. Chris has three. Woo! Deanna yeah, and come on. Nice All right, thank you. Yes. Nice job. Deanna and Sauce each have one. We're thank not you, even halfway through the one game. Person. Lots sure. of time. Thank Here's number six of C. E. Clue number one. Involves perceived privilege. Clue number two. Features decadence or indulgence. Clue number three. This is often connected to wealth or greed. Clue number four. This is a person. Clue number five. They are considered soft or spoiled. Zach? Yeah? Cake eater? That's right. Oh, oh good one, Zach. -o. Those are oh, cake Zach. eaters. Oh, very good. I was nowhere yeah. near that. Well done. All right. I love cake. Cake yeah, eater. Same. Uh, we are at halftime. Anybody want to sing at halftime? Is like Yoko Ono? Come on, Dov, give it to us. 
Harvest Moon. That's not singing. That's no. just words. I, mean, that's just talking, wow. I like it. He I like is it. bad word. at this game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at halftime, Hawk has three. Zach, Sauce, and Deanna each have one. Six items to go. Here's number seven of CE. Clue number one. Can involve actions or omissions. Clue number two. This can feature actual or potential harm. Clue number three. This can feature criminal charges. Hawk. Go for it. Corporate espionage. Oh, wow. Good That's guess. That's a really good guess. Really good guess. Most of that fits. I was feeling so good. Yeah. Most of it fits. You're All right, Chris, oh, out for the rest of number seven. Clue number four. Can feature dangerous environments. Oh, I'm just breathing. <laughs> Weird way to breathe. Clue number five. This is connected to neglect or abuse. Deanna. Paul. Deanna was first. Child endangerment. Yes! Whoa! Oh, nice God. job. Nice Holy job. moly. Let's go. Let's get excited. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. You can do this. Five to go, and Deanna's just one point back. So Chris has three. Nice job. Deanna has two. Sauce and Zach each have one. Uh, there are five items to go. Here's number eight of CE. Clue number one. This is often connected to technology. Clue number two. This involves research and design. Clue number three. This involves progress or is considered groundbreaking. Clue number four. This features innovation. Clue number five. This is the most advanced. Zach. Yep. Cutting edge. Oh, nice, nice job, job. Zacho. Great job. Edge. Wait, and, Zacho, uh, Zacho stays in this thing. Zach has his second point. Chris has three. Deanna and Zach each have two. Let's go. Sauce has one. Hello. Bob has Hello. a gigolo jersey. A gigolo? A it is, what is it called? Oh, a juggalo. Well, yeah, you're, you're a David Lee Roth fan as well, apparently. <laughs> uh, you have zero points. Come on, yeah, come on, Dobbs. Come on, don't blow this. Come on. Oh, God. Who's going to be more mad at that, the gigolos or the juggalos? Yeah, uh, here's number nine person. of CE. Clue number one. Requires training. Clue number two. Are part of a performance. Clue number three. A famous one was hit and killed by a train in 1885. Rosie. Clue number four. Known for their size. Zach? Yeah? Carnival elephant? <laughs> Oh, not bad. Zach, out for the rest I've of been, number nine. I've been called that. <laughs> Hawk. Yeah. Yep. yep. Circus elephant. That is the yeah. right answer. Yeah. Those are good steals. Circus good elephants. Steals. I was too busy making good fun steals. of myself. Circus elephant. Sorry, dude. That was big. No, no. That sucks. All right. So. Where were you, Dave? I don't know. I'm brain dead. Right well, who now. cares? You're mathematically eliminated. <laughs> oh, duh. Uh, Hawk has four. Oof. And Chris, you have a two-point lead with three All to right. go. If you get any of the remaining three, you're the winner. Don't blow this. Chuck. Deanna Come is on. two back with three to go. Zach is two back with three to go. Come on, let's go. Sauce, Come you on. need the remaining three to force a tie. So okay. Chris, going for the win. Here's number 10 of CE. Clue number one. Can be drained. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clue number two. Involves repeated trauma. Jeez. <laughs> Clue number three. Protective gear can minimize risk. Clue number four. One of the words is a vegetable. Clue Deanna. number five. Deanna. Cauliflower ears. Yes. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Holy, yes. holy.
Allen. Let's go. Wow. Keeps herself in That was this. great. I was waiting. Wow. How crazy is it? I mean, I know this is how every game that we've ever played works, but Cairo, Egypt right now is the difference between Chris yeah. having a one-point lead and Deanna having a one-point lead with two to go. That's how tight this game uh, is. Uh, with two to go, Hawk, you have four. All right. Deanna now just one back. She has three. Zach, you're not out of this. You have two, so you need the last two to tie. Sauce is now mathematically out. The Lambert's A-plus right. performance today. That's okay, though. That's all right. Uh, Chris, with two to go, you're still going for the win. Here's number 11 of C. E. Clue number one. Often involves speed. Clue number two. This involves a series of rules. Clue number three. The most common format is timed. Clue number four. Often connected to prize money. Clue number five. This often appears at festivals or fairs. Final clue. Clue number six. You could argue the most famous one of these is connected to the 4th of July. Zach. Oh. Zach. Five, four, three, two, Dav. one. Dav. Hang on, was somebody else it in was before? Me. Sauce, yes or no? I, I don't know. Okay, Dav. Competitive eating. Competitive oh. eating. Oh. That is competitive Son of eating. Dav's really into that. Yeah. All what right. Kobayashi for life. Here's the old sitch. Uh, everybody's on the board with at least one, but it really comes down now just to Hawk and Deanna. If Hawk gets this right, he wins. If Deanna gets this right, she forces a tiebreaker. If Zach, Dob, or Sauce gets it right, then Hawk is the winner. Okay. Chris going for the win. Here we go. Deanna going for the tie. Here's the final item, number 12 of C-E. Clue number one. Involves two or more people. Clue number two. It falls in the shedding category, as that is the ultimate goal. Clue number three. This features a pile of thin rectangular objects. Clue number four. This features taking turns. Clue number five. This ends with a winner. Final clue. Clue number six. This is a classic basic card game similar to Uno. Five, four, three, two. Zach. Zach. Five, four, three, two, one. Every, Paul, every, Paul, Paul, Paul. Paul. Curved direction. No. Everybody else. Five, four, three. Dav. Dav. Curvature direction. No. <laughs> Chris and Deanna. Five, four, three, ring in, ring in, two, ring in. one. Deanna. Deanna. Five, four, three, two, one. I, want, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You know. Something euchre? Yell it out, crowd. Crazy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that, that's crazy. It wasn't eight. curvature erection. It was not curvature erection. It was Round of applause, right though. Time. Deanna gave it an awesome Well done. Run. Hell yeah. It came down wow. to Cairo, Egypt. If that goes the other way, she would have won well four to three. Well done. Man. Wow. Nice job. Or if I get circus elephant, we get a tiebreaker. Good point as well. Yeah, that's yeah true. very good. Yeah, that is very nice true. Job. All right. Well Despite done. all that, well though, A plus performance. Chris, victory 101. What happens now? That's right. Radco and radco.com all weekend long. Use the promo code initials. Uh, you'll get 10% off through Monday. Discount doesn't apply to toppers. Radco and radco.com. Thank you. And thank you for your support. Wow. You know, I'm going to have to look it up, but so she that. got six yesterday and three today. Nine career points probably puts her, like, in the top wow. 15 or so, maybe, of well all done. time. Well done. Incredible. Yeah. Well done. Super Oof. solid. Are you disappointed or are you happy? No, I'm happy. I yeah. had a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. That was great. I actually do. Ladies you're very good. Now, yeah, that's you're awesome. very good. Very good. Wow. 
All right, that was awesome. Man, I almost blew that. Mm. Crazy eights. Crazy yeah, I had no eights. idea. Well, you know, the, the E and the A. Eh, the numbers. Sounds, yeah, that, yeah, the number I, factor. And hurts. the vowel. I thought everything was cosmic energy. I thought everything was Cadbury egg. Yeah, I thought of that mm. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't get an emergency out of my head. What? Huh. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Oof. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Man. work, Hawk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Feeling good. The, Feeling good. Thank you. Good guys. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, well right done. On. Right on. So now what do we do? Drink and gamble? Well, it's almost time, yeah. Well, yeah. sauce, as you always say uh, on a Friday morning, especially when we're on the road, win or lose. Yeah, we booze, we right? Booze. We're, we're all having exactly. a great time. Looks right? like there's a lot of boozing going to happen right yeah. here at the uh, the Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. Who's drinking today? Now, put your hand down. Uh, tonight, by the way, uh, we'll have a wild pre-party. What time uh, will that be? Uh, six to seven, Tom's Watch Bar down by uh, New York, New York. So, Tom's Watch Bar. Yes. New yeah, York, Tom, New York. Tommy won't be there. Six to seven. I'm six out. Six to seven. No, we know that. Wild party, <laughs> pre-game party. And then you can either go to the game or you can stay at the bar or you can go somewhere else and watch it. Are you going, Zach? Yeah. Nice. I so stop. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Are you on the wild game? I'm not. No, not me neither. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting, getting on a plane to go to Canada since we're done here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, big, uh, I'll be gone all week next week. Is so. that to yeah. take a massive dump in someone's <laughs> That's story? exactly right. You knew, yeah. yeah. I, I only do yeah. that in Canada. Go to Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. We that call that a callback in the industry. Thank you yeah. very well, much. Look, wow, he's a pro. He's a pro over here. Wow, how about that? Yeah. God, I'm oh. with Corey. You suck. <laughs> oh. Finally, somebody gets it. <laughs> the crowd, some, I think some of them love there, you. There was right a reaction, like, oh, how you know, you know how dare you? You know what's great, though? This is the first time Dav has played the initials game where we haven't had Tommy yell every time he <laughs> rings in. I think we've all missed Tommy, though. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love Tommy. I know that young gentleman over there has missed Tommy. And, and yeah. the sad thing is I, I texted Tommy a little earlier and said, oh, my God, were you listening? And he says he wasn't. So he has no oh, idea what happened not okay. this morning. When he was told, well, when he was called out. He's going to podcast it, and like you said, he's going to hit the back 15-second button about a thousand uh, times. He's going to be yeah. so happy. To hear him say I that. mean, who doesn't love him? I mean, yeah, Tommy's the, the best. best ever. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, so. since it is 846, uh, we could probably definitively say that Mark Rosen does not think you people are worth his time. Dob loses money. I mean, a miracle could happen in the next seven minutes, but the show's over in seven minutes, and I think this is the final nail in the coffin. Uh, he doesn't care about you people. God. That's just a mean thing to say. I think yeah. he does care. Oh, is oh, it $20 I don't, for oh, me? Oh, I don't think he does. Tickets been cashed. Is this a $20 bill for me? There is this is. real? Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Just printed today. They go one of those yeah. markers. Yeah. Yeah. What are they yeah. looking for when they do this, by the way? Uh, probably when, when they hold the money up. They're looking for the Where's George stamp so oh. they can put it in. I don't know. Huh. No, he called into Common yesterday. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah for about did. six minutes. Yes. Yeah, now it's a work trip. Yeah, yeah. correct. And you, yeah. you could hear on the radio that he just didn't want oh, to yeah. he, be doing this. I was sitting next to him, and he, 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 uh, he did not want to do it. He regretted doing it the whole time. Yeah. Which, which, he feel, I feel like that when every time he comes into the Power Trip Morning oh, Show. Yeah. You know, and on yeah. his way in, he's yeah. wondering what he's doing with his life. You know, I've been working on my Rosie impression. You guys want to hear it? No, oh, no. I, I can't imagine Careful. anything I'd like more. Sauce, and you'll tell Sauce. us regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Sauce, ask me a question about uh, the world of sports, and I'll be, I'll do it. This is my best Mark Rosen impression. Go. Hey, uh, Rosie, who do you think is going to win the Masters? <sighs> well, I mean, uh, you know, I did get to go down to uh, Augusta once with uh, Alan Page, who uh, played for the Minnesota Vikings <laughs> during the Purple People Eater era. That's pretty good. He I'm... was such a nice guy. He's been great to my family. I went to a Manny's with him once. It was him and, uh, and Jim Marshall. Jim Marshall also played for the Purple People Eaters, by the way. Uh, these guys are just uh, iconic Minnesotans, kind of like Joe Maurer. Yeah. I, uh, I, I watched Joe Maurer play uh, baseball when he was uh, in high school, and I knew almost immediately that he was going to be pretty special. Speaking of special, I, uh, I know Pat Proft, who uh, writes movies, <laughs> uh, including um, Bachelor Party. Yeah. Remember that? Right? Sure. You know who was at my Bachelor Party was Paul Molitor. <laughs> That's, and I mean, Paul Molitor really, look at him. You're good at this. went to the University of Minnesota, Yeah. just like uh, Trent Tucker, who I watch his kid play hockey <laughs> all the time. I, I won't go to anybody else's kids' games, but if Trent uh, Tucker has a kid playing hockey, I will definitely yeah. go see uh, that Rosie, kid. Rosie, can I ask you a question? Uh, hey, I'm not done yet. <laughs> uh, speaking of kids in hockey, I was at the birth of Jason and Carly Zucker's uh, kid because sure. that's what normal people do. Yeah, you Did you watch the birth? I tried. Oh, gross. Oh, my God. Did you watch he the did. conception? Oh, he, he's seen it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rosie, question for you. O.J. Simpson, your thoughts? 
Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, I'm normally against double murder, but I do like football. Speaking of football, I used to uh, get lunch with Bud Grant. Oh, yeah. And uh, what a nice guy. He was pretty much my best friend. He was at the birth of both of my kids. And uh, so was, um, you guys remember Tommy Kramer played football yeah. for the Vikings? Yes, Tommy yeah. Kramer's uncle was also at the birth of uh, Nick. I feel like I need to give Davis $20 back. There's no doubt Mark yeah. Rosen is officially in the house. Well is done. Is there a gas station between now and the end of the story? I need a break from it. No. Oh! That's a good line. That is, he uses it a lot. That's a good one. Yeah. Right Rosie, on. do you have anything to say to Dov? No, no, I don't. <laughs> what are you going to do with the rest of your trip, Corey Cove? Careful. Well, let's see here. I definitely got to hit up the Raising Canes on the strip after that watch party, right? It's right across the street. No so. doubt about it. Yeah. Anybody want to walk over to Canes with me at 701? Uh, 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 whoever's not going to the game at, uh, at 7, let's just go to Canes, shall we? Um, so probably lose more money playing poker, uh, eat Raising Canes. Um, God, that's probably, that's probably it. it. Yeah, that makes sense. Listen to this. But I'm, I, we have a couple moments, and I, I forgot about this story. This is the kind of thing you wouldn't think could happen in modern day, uh, well, in these modern times. The U.S. Coast Guard and Navy were able to successfully rescue three sailors who were stranded on a small Pacific island for over a week after they spelled out help in the sand using palm tree leaves. Wow. This is a true story. This actually happened. The three men, all in their 40s, left Easter Sunday on a 20-foot skiff from Palawat to pick a lot. I don't know what the hell. That's um, Tommy's driveway. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> pick a lot? Yeah, that wasn't that funny. Interesting. Uh, six days later... I didn't even get it. Yeah, I don't either. Not, not even remotely. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> six days later on Sunday, a woman called the Coast Guard to report that her uncles had not returned from Picolot, which is about 100 nautical miles from where they began. A Coast Guard rescue center in Guam began a search but had challenges due to weather. Uh, a Navy aircraft stationed in Japan and the Coast Guard ship Oliver Henry then joined the mission. Crew searched an area of more than 78,000 square nautical miles and the Navy aircraft spotted the, tree, uh, spotted the trio's palm leaf message the following day. It's a search area the size of Texas. Which is a great line from a great movie, Tom Hanks. I love it. But um, again, like, that's a Gilligan's Island thing, man. They yeah, spelled right. out help on the beach, yeah. and it actually worked, and it's they got good home. good for them. I can't believe that works, because if you were actually in that spot, wouldn't you try to start a fire first, right? The smoke is going to send up a signal faster than randomly spelling help on a beach. Well, Corey, if I were in that spot, I'd just say, please don't come looking for me. <laughs> yeah, right. But you found... would just spell go yeah. away. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. I found my perfect place. Please send nudes. Yeah, correct. But yeah. you that, spell all that out? That story sounds like That's the start of, of a punchline, right? So three uncles are on a deserted <laughs> island. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good bit, yeah. Yeah. Hi, oh, man. Hawk, hypothetically, because you don't gamble anymore. No, I'm done. I, I'm officially retired again. What is gambling. your favorite slot machine? If you were to, if I were to gamble again yeah, right now, yeah. that twenty dollars um, I, I right now I'm liking the uh, the piggies and the oh, and the piggies. birdies yeah. Yeah. who get fatter and fatter oh, and fatter yeah, till they yeah, explode. Yeah. And I like to call them bitches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it makes them explode sooner. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen it. It works yelling. in the bedroom as well, right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you definitely like to get degraded. <laughs> yeah, you do. Sometimes I explode faster than calling me a fat pig. Yeah, call me a piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a picky bit. What's wrong with you? Wow, you oh, so much. That's why I'm uh, going to Canada next week. Yeah. You might be treated like trash. <laughs> I do. You uh, guys. A couple careful. things. Yeah, Take you care. guys are the best. Thanks for coming Thank with you. us every year to uh, Las Vegas. We love the Power Trip listeners. You guys are the nicest people ever. Thanks for supporting the show over the years. Uh, round of applause one more time for Deanna. She put up a hell of a fight. Yeah. Oh, Deanna. Man, she was good. Nice job. Almost so, wow. had it today. Almost got me. Ah, God dang. Wow. All That's right. great. Uh, thanks to Jared Wells. Thanks Thank to Jared. Nick Madden. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. Thanks Zach to uh, Michael Kenny. Thanks, thanks to Zach Halverson. Uh, thanks to Ryan from uh, Branded Bills. Thanks to everybody here at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings as well. Thanks to our friends at Treasure Island Resort and Casino back in the uh, state of Minnesota. Uh, everybody have a fantastic weekend here in Las Vegas and everybody back in the Twin Cities. It sounds like the weather's still going to be sick. Beautiful. Right there. Yeah. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, everybody. Nine to noon is next. See you Monday. Everybody have a wonderful day.